determine the midpoint of a segment, we first need to find the coordinates of the endpoints of the segment, and then we find the average of the x coordinates, and we find the average of the y coordinates. These values will give us the coordinates of the midpoint. Looking at our segment here, graphed on the coordinate plane, this endpoint has an x coordinate of negative two and a y coordinate of five, and this endpoint has an x coordinate of positive three and a y coordinate of negative two. And now if we call this x sub one and this y sub one, and this x sub two and this y sub two, the x coordinate of the midpoint will be negative two plus three divided by two, and the y coordinate will be five plus negative two divided by two. Well, negative two plus three is equal to one, so we'd have one half for the x coordinate of the midpoint, and five plus negative two is equal to three, so the y coordinate of the midpoint would be three halves. Of course, it might be helpful to write these as decimals if we were going to plot the point by hand. And since one half is equal to 0 0.5 and three halves is equal to 1.5, we could also express the midpoint in decimal form. So if we wanted to plot this point, we'd move to the right of the origin half a unit and up one and a half units to this point right here. This would be our midpoint. which means if this is segment AB with midpoint M, we can say that segment AM is congruent to segment MB, which means segment AM is the same length as segment MB, which we can show using these hash marks. And I also graph the segment and midpoint using graphing software. I hope you found this helpful.